So synchronicity often is considered something that's usually often equated with serendipity, where it's like something positive. But I know that you have made a distinction that that's necessarily not the case, that it's events, uh, a longer arc that's guiding you towards greater meaning and growth. Yeah. And there could be some tough lessons on the way that we have to stay open with, that it's um, in a way we're, we're an optimist in terms of our growth and not necessarily this is what I what I want, why am I not getting what I want. I, I felt this was an important distinction because sometimes in the it's, it, it becomes different than the law, of, the simple law of attraction that we often hear. Mm -hmm. it's, it becomes more nuanced. Yeah, when you talk about, when a person talks about um, synchronicity as connected to human values, I don't think you can connect it to physics. So you have to find a way to talk about meaning and meaningfulness without resorting to human values of good and bad or, you know, um, positive, negative. And so that's, that's what's important in, in my understanding of it. What I, th the reason I think it's physics, the reason I think there's science involved here, because you know, in my training, I learned about the physical universe from yoga and then also from physics. Those are two separate ways that I approached it. And I was, I was taught it. So to me, they're one thing. And uh, what, what those both were saying, well, what, what yoga says is that the external world is a reflection of what's going on internally. There's no human values there, right? The mirroring aspect is something that I think we can describe with physics without introducing, you know, good growth or, you know, this value on being decent versus rude, you know, like, mm. I value that, but I don't think you can base a lot of physics on that. <laughs> but you can base a lot of physics on this notion that the, ex the events that happen externally in the world are reflecting the um, inner experiences of, of human beings. I think there's a way to define meaningfulness in physical terms that allows you to do that without any kind of human values being explicitly named. So that's, that's really the connection. And, and synchronicities are not necessarily positive at all. They're neutral. I, I have an experience where um, I bumped into, well, I, I was trying to meet my friend in Greece. I wrote about this. Yes. I met them in, in Paris. It was my future wife, who I'd been friends with from high school. Like all these fantastical connections with an intention to meet and, and an impossibility of doing so. So people look for that in their lives and they're like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I love stories about that, but it doesn't happen to me. But I experience now as, a, as an individual, I experience synchronicity every single day multiple times not necessarily in fact not big ones like that i would write home about <laughs> but i'm talking about ways in which i can see the meaningfulness of this experience as it relates to what i'm going through that's really what i'm talking about so i'll give you an example and, and this is i think this is helpful for people because you can start to identify and go oh yeah that happens to me all the time well that's synchronicity i get it okay so events that have, there's some meaningfulness to it that relates to what you're going through. So last night I got home from a, a group I was part of, kind of late. My, my kid was in bed, my wife was getting ready for bed. And um, on the way home, I got a text from them saying we laughed in the car all the way home from school. And that made my heart, my heart sing. I was like super happy that people in my life were happy and you know, great. Nothing, nothing negative about that, right? So I get home, I go talk to my, my wife, Dana, and she tells me about this experience, like belly laughing uncontrollably in the car. I was like, yeah, that's awesome. What were you laughing about? <laughs> She's like, well, we were laughing about you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. I'm not sure I feel so good about that anymore. <laughs> so I, I was suddenly conflicted. Like, is this, I, I don't, I, don't, I feel tense. Mm. I was super happy for you a minute ago. Now I feel tense, like embarrassed and like wait, you're laughing about me. Mm. You're laughing about the way I was eating dinner before I left the house, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is totally great. My, I know they love me. But um, that moment was a synchronicity for me because what I'm going through in the rest of my life, including the, the group I was with just prior, is dealing with the personal nature of my defenses and how do I like react when, like here, here's two people that love me more than anybody else in the world. And they laugh at me and I provide some humor for them unintentionally. And that's a, somehow a bad thing, right? Yeah. There's no threat to me at all. And yet my nervous system is on high alert. So it was, it was a synchronicity. It was a moment to practice noticing my responses and then figuring out, is this the way I want to live my life? Is there something else I want to try or learn from?